it is something that has been on my mind for a while now and I've seen my dad make this mistake over and over again. Cars are the worst investment you can make and I'm sure most people will agree with this statement. The minute you drive out the car from the showroom, it will depreciate by at least 10 to 20%. So obviously, cars are the worst investment. But not if you know which cars will appreciate in value in the long run. And I'm not talking about the supercars that cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm talking about affordable cars which you can buy now that has the greatest potential to appreciate in value. And these are the JDM cars. For those of you who don't know what is JDM, it stands for the Japanese Domestic Market. JDM refers to any car that was built to be sold only in the Japanese market. However, in this video, we're going to be talking about Japanese cars as a whole. I'm sure most of you car enthusiasts are aware of the recent hype about JDM cars. Cars such as the R34 GTR was priced at 192000 before excise duties. It came only in a manual and a unique RB26 engine that has great potential to push high horsepower without much modifications. In 2013, the prices dipped beat to the lowest it has ever been at RM160000. However, due to the hype over the past few years, it is now sold at an average of RM500,000 ringgit as seen in this Muda ad. Another example is the 2005 EVO 9. It is launched in Malaysia with a price tag of RM280,000 ringgit new. The EVO 9 is an all-wheel drive equipped with a 4G63 turbocharged 2.0-litre inline 4 engine alongside with a 6-speed manual. However, in 2013, prices dipped to 130k as seen in this Moto Trader magazine. Meanwhile, now in 2021, prices are seen averagely around 190,000 ringgit. To name a few more, there is the Civic DC2 Type R, R32 GTR, Honda NSX, and the Honda S2000, which have lately seen a great appreciation in value. The hype with the JDM car started just a few years back and has lately attracted a lot more car enthusiasts, and it is causing the prices of these cars to skyrocket. However, the ship has sailed for the cars I've mentioned previously and are way too expensive for it to be affordable now. Also, considering the fact that these cars have to be purchased in cash only, can you imagine? It's not too late, there are still some cars which you can buy today, which can hold its value and has the potential to appreciate. The first car in my list would be the Toyota GT86, which I currently own and is a 2017 model which I paid 170,000 ringgit for. The GT86 is a front mid-engine rear-wheel drive that uses an FA20 flat 4 NA boxer engine and is sold both in a 6-speed auto and manual. The first 1-2 to two years, the depreciation is a little higher, but now on Ford, it will averagely depreciate by 10,000 ringgit a year. If you hold onto the car for 15-20 to 20 years, it would probably be worth what I paid for it. However, if you are looking for a great bargain, the 2012 and 13 models are going for 100 to 120,000 ringgit. My next pick would be the Honda Civic FD2R. The last generation Type R is a front-wheel drive that uses a 4-cylinder NA VTEC engine paired with a manual transmission only. It is sold only in two countries which are Japan and Malaysia. It had a launch price of 199,000 ringgit and is now sold for around 110 to 140,000 ringgit depending on the year and condition. Third, it is the Mazda MX-5. This front engine rear wheel drive is still a fairly new car as it was first launched in late 2015 at 260,000 ringgit and can now be bought in either auto or manual ranging from 150 to 180,000 ringgit depending on the year made. With its lightweight 1066 kilograms body weight and a convertible drop the top, it is a perfect recipe for a collector's car and a lightweight two-door Japanese sports car. The fourth car in my list would be a Nissan 370Z. It has a glorious sounding 3.7 litre V6 NA engine that pushes 332 horsepower to the rear wheels and can you guess how much it was brand new? That's right, it was priced at 370,000 ringgit brand new. 
it was sold in both an auto and a manual however the second hand prices vary between the auto and the manual the second hand auto 370z has a market price of 90 to 100,000 ringgit whereas a manual unit is sold for an average of 150 to 170,000 ringgit as it is very rare here in malaysia last but not least it is the wrx sti version 8 with its aggressive sounding flat 4 2.5 liter boxer turbo engine that was paired with a manual transmission only <laughs> Its MSRP when launched was RM270,000 back in 2003 and now 18 years later priced at 70 to 80,000 ringgit second hand. This would be my top picks in terms of cars I would get at this very moment that will have the potential to appreciate in value in a few years time. If you have deeper pockets, you could actually look out for some of the newer cars coming out such as the GR86 400Z which are the last of its kind in this era that we are in now. Besides from the JDMs, we also have the Lotus Emira, which is also a very unique car in this very day and age. As time goes on, the popularity of EVs is growing and the change from ICE cars to EVs is inevitable, which is why getting a car such as these JDMs, especially in a manual, would definitely be a collector's car that can fetch great value one day. Many will say that the best place to put your money is in properties where you will see a definite appreciation in value in years to come and not on depreciating assets like cars. However, you most probably need a car to take you places, so you definitely need to get one, unless you prefer to use Grab. <laughs> to me personally, it's all about the driving experience. So why not invest in these cars that are not only fun to drive, but by investing in the right car, it can be profitable in the long run, or at least you get back what you paid for minus the mods. All car prices will initially depreciate every year. However, if you own the right car, the depreciation won't be as much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos.